hello students uh, let's come to continue our discussion in uh, system modeling and simulation we are talking about the random number generation that part is completed so random variate generation that's what our uh, topic of discussion is so here some kind of thesis we have to learn about inverse transformation technique or infer inverse transform technique is the next topic so this can be used to sample from the exponential the uniform and the variable okay type of distributions okay additionally please uh, try to understand so three types of distributions we have to study here for inverse transform technique exponential distribution uniform distribution of the random number as well as weeble uh, distribution okay additionally it is the underlying principle for uh, sampling from a wide variety of discrete distribution okay we are even uh, dis discussing about the discrete as well as continuous kind of uh, distributions later the technique will be explained in detail okay for uh, exponential distribution and then apply to the other types of distribution that is uniform and weeble let us begin with exponential distribution then there what exactly the meaning of exponential distribution is hope uh, this contents are visible right otherwise you refer to the page number 240 from the standard textbook okay the exponential distribution probability density function can be defined as follows straight forward definition since i told you earlier some kind of thesis we are going to learn so as per the exponential distribution the probability density function okay pdf is f of x which can be please remember pdf is defined as a small f of x and cdf that is cumulative distribution function is defined as capital f of x please try to uh, remember those notations okay uh, f of x small f of x which is equal to uh, lambda into e power minus lambda x where x is greater than or equal to 0 in other cases that is uh, for negative values if value of x the random number is less than 0 then f of x uh, pdf will remain 0 then cdf for the exponential distribution it can be given as f of x capital f of x see integration of f of t dt where uh, its value is 1 minus uh, e power minus lambda x for x greater than or equal to 0 otherwise it will remain 0 that is for negative number or uh, x value less than 0 now we have to see the uh, meanings of these notations so the meaning of lambda we have used the notation lambda right the meaning of lambda which can be interpreted as uh, the mean number of occurrences per unit time per time unit okay mean number of occurrences number of occurrences of the random number okay number of times the particular thing occurred per unit time okay or a time unit whatever you call lambda uh, or, or in other words you can say it as frequency right we denote uh, frequency at, as lambda right this is also the same number of time the particular thing occurred that is what uh, denoted as lambda okay uh, yeah the interval times uh, here the example given just go through the statement for example if the interval time x1 x2 x3 had an exponential distribution with the rate that number of repetition marked as lambda then lambda could be interpreted as the mean number of arrivals per time unit or the arrival rate okay it is also called as arrival rate so arrival rate can for any event okay for random arrival times xi can be defined as it is the reciprocal of uh, lambda value so 1 by lambda which can be given as the arrival rate okay and so 1 by lambda is the mean inter arrival time so the arrival rate notation what we have considered 1 by lambda so hope it is visible right is 1 by lambda which is called as mean inter arrival time just go through the definition so definition part it is next to go through the statement the goal here is to develop a procedure for uh, generating the generating values x1 x2 x3 and so on that have an exponential distribution here we have to perform some uh, steps okay sequence of steps we have to perform the inverse transformation technique can be unit utilized at least uh, in principle for any distribution but it is most useful when cdf that is cumulative distribution function capital f of x is of a form 
so simple that it's inverse we are going to find the inverse value right inverse uh, transformation so f inverse uh, which you can see over here this is what is the notation okay can be computed easily if you know about uh, if your f of x is computed then f inverse can be easily computed as per the definition of uh, this pdf as well as cdf for the, the for the particular function remember we are talking about the exponential distribution which is a form of the inverse transformation technique or inverse transform technique so that is what the step by step procedure given here below first step to compute the compute the cdf of the desired random variable let x be a random variable you have to go go for the computation of the cumulative distribution function cdf value for that so for uh, f of x use a uh, capital f of x right cdf is capital f of x where pdf probability density function is small f of x as per our uh, discussion so f of x which is equal to use the formula 1 minus e to the power as per the thesis the formula is 1 minus e, e to the power uh, minus lambda x right minus lambda into x that is for x greater than or equal to 0 right that is what the first step is we have two different cases we have for the second case it is 0 that is for x less than 0 we did not consider that so x is some kind of a random number so probability distribution uh, sorry uh, cumulative distribution function f of x can be computed using the mentioned formula right then um, go for ste uh, second step step 2 set f of x equal to r on the range of x so this is what the second step you are supposed to perform so f of x value to be set to value of the r okay on the range of x for example go through for for the exponential you will let us see the example also later for the exp exponential distribution it will become see uh, what is the value of f of x just substitute the value of f of x it is 1 minus e into to the power lambda into x right 1 minus e to the power minus lambda x which is equal to r right just a substitution it is okay please remember uh, x is a random variable here okay um, in this particular case that is exponential distribution in this particular case x is a capital x what we have denoted is a random variable so 1 minus e to the power minus lambda x that is what f of x value is that is also a random variable please remember okay f of x since x is a random variable that's why f of x also should be a random variable what is the value of f of x just substitute nothing else this is sub substitution part this is 1 minus e to the power minus lambda x this what we have substituted for f of x right that is also a random variable we call it as r as you can see right we call it as r the value of r is 1 minus e to the power minus lambda x that is f of x we call it as r okay um, it will be having a uniform distribution over the interval since it's a random variable it's a distribution the value should be in between in the range of 0 and 1 that is what step number 2 step number 3 solve the equation so now what is the equation we are getting f of x on one side and r on the other side right solve the equation f of x equal to r for x in terms of r just a substitution now uh, what is f of x you know f of x is there directly over here 1 minus e to the power minus lambda x take it over on the left hand side see here 1 minus e to the power minus lambda x right hand side we have r okay uh, keep uh, e to the power minus lambda x on left hand side what will happen 1 minus r will go to the right hand side minus e actually minus e to the power minus lambda x will become equal to r minus 1 isn't it you take uh, reciprocal of that i sorry uh, you take the uh, positive values that is minus of minus uh, you take uh, you said uh, have add a sub negative symbol on both the sides lsh and rhs what you will get you, right that simple mathematics you will get e to the power minus lambda x equal to 1 minus r okay then uh, <coughs> see the next one the next step is very important just observe what we are doing see log to the base e of uh, 1 minus r we are going to substitute the uh, exponent form that uh, minus lambda into x is there no in the exponential where the exponential value we are going to take that is minus lambda into x we are going to take on left hand side what it will become in right hand side it will become logarithmic 
log of base e okay that is marked as ln of 1 minus r you will be getting as per the properties of mathematics after simplification then just uh, um, simplify for x take minus lambda on the other side you will get uh, minus of 1 by lambda into the remaining term so log to the base e that is ln of 1 minus r okay well, that is what the next step uh, that is simplification step so this equation is marked as 8.1 here just uh, concentrate this equation is also called as uh, random variate generator for the exponential distribution so straight forward question uh, you can expect this type of questions in the final exam easily you can answer if you remember the formulas next it has got four steps okay fourth step let us say this is what we have derived in the step number three so this formula 8.1 what that is uh, minus 1 by lambda into ln of uh, 1 minus r okay this equation is called as random variate generator for the exponential distribution random variate generator for the exponential distribution in general equation 8.1 is written as see it is written as x which is equal to f inverse of f inverse of r in general it is written as okay generating sequence of values is accomplished that is uh, done through the next step so generate uniform random numbers let r1 r2 r3 and so on are the random numbers and compute the desired random variate by using the formula xi which is equal to just uh, substitute x in place of x so we are using suffix i now xi which is equal to f inverse of r as per the formula see as per the notation it is there here just i am highlighting f inverse of ri you mentioned that's it okay for the exponential case that is f inverse of r use the above formula what is f inverse of r that is x okay f inverse of r is nothing but x please try to understand x is uh, defined as f inverse of r right for the one and the same i am going to replace x by f inverse of r non left hand side right hand side uh, the value remains same see here minus 1 by lambda in, into log to the base c that is ln of 1 minus r we have same thing we are going to write there as you can see see here same thing we have written okay f of f inverse of r means then uh, xi in general you write the r by r that's it value of r i, I can be anything 1 2 3 and so on okay and uh, for the simplification purpose uh, somewhere 1 minus ri is also replaced by ri just use we just use ri okay 1 minus ri instead of 1 minus ri we just use ri that you will come to know the alternative is uh, justified by the fact ri and 1 minus r i are uniformly distributed between the range 0 and 1 that is what we are saying as per the thesis so uh, xi equal to 1 minus lambda to the <coughs> lambda into logarithmic to the c that is ln of 1 minus ri that 1 minus ri is replaced by ri as per since both are uniformly distributed that's why we just uh, simplify the formula as x i equal to 1 minus 1 by lambda into ln of ri that's it okay that is all about the and distribution uh, function since uh, we have discussed about the which one see here the exponential distribution so what are the things we have discussed here first is the formula as per the thesis exponential distribution cumulative distribution function and pdf we have supposed to consider pdf that is small f of x capital f of x is cdf cumulative distribution function please remember we are considering cumulative distribution function here for to find the inverse of that that is uh, inverse transform technique is so inverse of that we are going to find so 1 minus e to the power minus lambda x this formula is very important for us we are going to consider this as you can see okay later see the steps f of x which is containing the same value 1 minus e minus into to the power minus lambda x where x is greater than 0 we, right then uh, in the second step uh, what we are going to do we are just going to write that as r that left hand side we are going to substitute that r so 1 minus e to the power minus lambda x which is equal to r then we just simplify it for to take the value separate that uh, x we are trying to take separately that's why minus e to the power lambda x we keep on left hand side we take one on right hand side you will get uh, sorry e to the power minus lambda x will keep so 1 minus r you will get on right hand side as you can uh, see over here right 
steps in the next step right 1 minus c to the power minus uh, that is step 3 which is equal to r and e to the power minus lambda x we are keeping as 1 minus r then uh, this is very important minus lambda x we are treating uh, taking separately the exponent term that is uh, in log to the base c that is ln of 1 minus r that will become equal to so finally you separate x okay this entire term what is denoted what we have derived x which is called as f inverse of r that is what the inverse distribution function inverse distribution function for the exponential distribution inverse distribution function for the exponential distribution please remember okay then finally step 4 that is what the simplification so for ith value we are going to write what is the formula is that's it please go through the video watch the video once again and note down the things very important topic so kind of thesis a theoretical concept easily if you remember the formulas and steps easily you can answer this question thank you for watching